Okay, so today is actually the third day of Ramadan. I did not start my Ramadan vlog like the first day uh, for obvious reasons because my camera, you guys, is broke. And I am so annoyed because I feel like my camera is failing you. For some reason, when I went to the Gambia, I lost a screw and I was trying to find a screw. I couldn't find a screw. I came over here, still can't find the screw. They say I have to send the camera back. They don't have parts for it. Long story short, I can't fix the camera. Um, I have to try somewhere else. I have to actually call my friend and ask her what the name of the place was because if not, then I'm gonna have to buy a new vlogging camera and I'm not happy about that. <sighs> I'm gonna show you guys what my camera looks like so you can see how janky it is. Considering the fact that this camera is brand new, I wish I could just sell it or maybe repair it. I don't know. Um, wish me luck with this damn camera. Anyways. I'm gonna start this Ramadan vlog. A Ramadan Kareem. Happy Ramadan. Ramadan Mubarak to all you my Muslim followers. Anyways, I am headed out right now. I have to run a couple of errands, but I'm gonna bring you guys to, to with me because it is Ramadan. Why not vlog and show you guys what's happening, what I'm doing, and whatnot. Okay, so come with me. Let's have a fabulous day. Something exciting. I am actually finally going to spend time and actually do some um, DIY projects inside the house not outside the house I will be doing the outside the house actually like you know so you guys will stay tuned you'll see that not necessarily DIY I'm gonna have to hire someone also to help me out because chop that's a lot <laughs> anywho I have to go look at some flooring at this place that this guy told me to go check some flooring out because I want to change all my um, bedroom floors to vinyl flooring because I have vinyl in like the living room area and stuff and inside the bedrooms is all carpet and I don't like that I want to take the carpets out but I'm sure it's gonna cost me a whole bunch of money but we're gonna do it okay um, because that's the only way I can feel happy to actually do my bedroom and stuff so yeah so sit down relax and let's just, let's just hop on this day and we're gonna cook too okay it's a whole lot going on anyways <laughs> Look at all this beautifulness. Guys, so we just made it to Fort and Deco. So I'm trying to find floors. But this caught my attention. Yeah, I'm still trying to use my ghetto ass camera. So excuse me if I'm not on focus because I can't see. This is so pretty. But I love this one too. I love, I love this one, you guys. It's so pretty. Oh, look at this. Mm -hmm. I love it, love it, love it, love it. Oh, I love that backsplash too. Hi. I'm trying to get a uh, vinyl floor in. Okay, let yeah. me show you where it is. Okay, okay. Well, thank you. I'm gonna learn yeah, about come it. shake, yeah. What, what, um, any particular color? Um, I you know what? I forgot to bring like, the sample of mine. Okay. But if I see it, I'll want. probably know. Is there a, uh, do you want to, how many square feet do you need, do you know? Yeah, I have it. The guy took okay. the measurements for me. Were you filming a commercial? No, I, I'm a YouTuber. Oh, get I'm out vlogging. of here! Get out of here! I'm vlogging. And how long do you do that? What's your, what's your, uh, my channel? Yes. It's Amy Cisse. Oh, come on. Tell me. We gained a subscriber. Oh, I'm get out of here. <laughs> We're going to start with what we have in stock. Okay, so, so you see, this, these are the wider planks? Mm -hmm. Okay. These are the wider. All here. Otherwise, do you have any idea what color you'd like to go with? Mine is like, it's, it's, it's probably more similar to the first one, okay. but a little bit darker. Darker? Okay. I think. Okay. Okay. So let me show you what we have and then we'll come back. Okay, okay, okay. cool. What's the difference? Okay, so the laminate is water resistant. This is 100% water. 
All right, so just waiting to get coats. I don't know what kind of vinyl floors I have in my house, so I'm gonna get some samples because I forgot to actually pick up a sample from my addict. So do that before you get flooring. Are you hungry yet? She says she's not hungry. <laughs> I'm sure she's starving. I'm, I'm not hungry. I'm just, I'm not hungry. I'm just, I don't know how to call that, you know? Guys, do you know how much they're charging me for these floors? Y'all have no idea. That's stuff it says. It's like almost four thousand dollars just for the floors. Hi guys, welcome back over to my channel. Okay, so I think I started vlogging the other day. My camera broke in the middle of it. Okay, so I couldn't even finish vlogging. But let's just pretend like that didn't happen. We're gonna start over. Okay. Luckily, I was able to fix it and didn't have to buy a new one because I literally almost cried when I realized that I had to buy a new camera since Canon said they cannot fix my camera, and I was upset. But I am happy. To be back okay and fully energized and ready to do this Ramadan vlog I was gonna do a daily vlog but <laughs> my life is not that interesting let's just keep it 100 because I like to do this will work okay anyways um quick update what's going on with me okay so my face actually was not doing so well uh, my face will it's actually all cleared up right now like but I'm still gonna go to the dermatologist I have an appointment today I actually by myself figured out what was wrong with my face and started using treatments and if you guys are interested like i'll actually insert a clip for you guys like right here of what my skin looked like just literally four or five days ago i was so insecure i was so depressed because this was not pretty at all okay but one of the things that actually really helped my skin you guys was this product okay almost all my face is like all cleared up if you guys are interested in actually exactly what i do to clear this whole thing in literally four days let me know i'll do a special video on that because i shook myself i gotta give myself a pat on the back sis okay because i did that okay anyways i have an appointment to the dermatologist i woke up pretty early went to the gym to work out first and then i had therapy we're not gonna dig into that therapy stuff okay when it's time for it, you guys for you guys to know you guys would know why I'm going to therapy But don't worry you guys will find out if you're interested in knowing why comment below so that way I can document The facts and the reasons why I'm going to therapy. Okay Just let me know in the comment section. Anyways, if you're not subscribed to the channel, please make sure you are subscribed darling, okay, make sure you leave a comment down in the comment section below and make sure you give this video a thumbs up okay and i'll see you very soon okay let's head out Okay. I made a shish kebab, right? And everyone wants to know what the recipe was. Okay. Don't worry, guys. I got you. I will be sharing the recipe. I will probably make that because it's just a lot of cutting. So get ready. Okay. A lot of cutting. A lot of chopping. Okay. But um, yeah. So I will definitely be sharing that recipe. So stay tuned before Ramadan is over, inshallah. Hopefully on my next Ramadan vlog. I, I hope so. Okay. Alright guys, so I just got home from the dermatologist and was I impressed? Absolutely not. That's just what I was going to say. I have nothing else to say. I wasn't impressed. I don't think he even knew really what's going on with my skin. He was like, oh, this looks like acne. I'm like, that's not acne. But anyways, if you say so, whatever. And he basically prescribed me with some retinol and... Would I use it? I'm gonna keep it. If I need it, I'll use it. But I'm just gonna keep tr doing my own treatment because I feel like that's what's working. Whatever he was saying, I was just like, mm. yeah, okay. 
All right, guys, so you guys are gonna help me pick out um, the flooring I got. Okay, so I picked up three samples. So we're gonna number them as one, two, or three. So you guys are gonna have to select and then comment down in the comment section and let me know which one you guys are gonna select, okay, for more. So this is one, okay? And this is what my flooring looks like. So I wanna match it to this one, okay? So this is number one. This is sample number two, okay? And then, this is sample number three, okay? So, one, okay, two, or three. I'm thinking one, either one or three. So you guys, let me know. So again, one, two, and three. Yeah, you guys help me. Anyways, I am about to start making iftar, but I feel like I'm missing a few things, so I have to go to the store. I'm actually making a seafood pie, okay? Okay, seafood pie, AKA fish pie, or something like that, but I'm actually using more shrimp, so that's why I call it seafood, seafood, seafood pie, okay? So I'm gonna make some seafood pie, so you guys sit down and hang out with me, and then I'll show you how I make my seafood pie, and then let me know if you guys like my recipe, and if you try it also, make sure you let me know. Let's go to the store and get some stuff. is real these prices in these stores are outrageous I need to get um, napkin but why I feel like these napkin rolls are smaller guys look at these napkin rolls now oh this is the one I normally get yeah I get the big ones seriously I think we really need to talk to Uncle Joe about these damn prices because inflation, you guys, is real. Like, I don't know who's deciding on these prices, honey, but we gotta fix this. All right, guys, anyways, I'm headed home right now. I'm probably gonna rest. It's the time right now, it's 4.10. So we have about three hours, few minutes to iftar. What I'm making is not hard at all, so I'm probably gonna go home, rest for like 30 minutes, chill before I actually get in the kitchen. I actually do want to make some crepes also, so I got me some Nutella. Okay. I just finished spraying and it's about to go down. So I'm about to make some crepes and make some seafood pie. Okay, um, AKA fish pie, but I'm making seafood pie, not fish pie. And I also want to film a rails. So I think I'm actually gonna show you guys how I actually film my rolls kind of soda not like so in-depth tutorial but just to kind of show you guys what I do so I'm gonna mix my I'm gonna mix my crepes first so I can put it in the fridge so it can kind of rest so that the flavors can rise okay I like whatever I make I, it's like a mix I always want to make it like sit a little bit before I actually cook it I don't just like to mix stuff and then cook it because I feel like you have a better flavor okay so when I do my reels you guys I have this shout out to Asta she got me this Okay, I've abused this mess and it's actually almost died, like about that dying. Okay, um, and I use my phone to film my reels and I use the back of my camera because that has a better quality. Um, I can use the phone camera if I want to, like if I was filming like a video like this, but you know how that goes. Okay, make sure you clean your cameras very well, okay, before you start filming your reels. Just saying, okay. You guys, you would think I actually went to walk out in these clothes and I did not. It was just more comfortable for me to wear to the um, 
to the doctor's office that's why i have it on anyways whatever and one thing i actually did you guys different in my kitchen if you probably watch like an old video of mine inside the kitchen you will tell that the light is a little different so i changed all the lights inside my my live uh kitchen area in the living area just so that i have a better lighting when i'm filming in the kitchen um yeah because that's like very important when you're filming your reels or when you're just filming like a youtube video you want to use like a more daylight uh daylight bulb so that way it looks more natural when you film versus like the yellow light so like i wish i can like show you guys what that looks like okay so hold on hopefully you can see it okay so these lights some um, this light looks more blue correct okay so i didn't change the ones in the corridor so i'm gonna show you one one of those okay okay perfect so can you see how that is blue can you see how this is yellow you see that you see you see can you see that this is more yellow and then when i come here it's more blue so you want more of that blue light because that looks better when you're filming okay um this is not a youtube tutorial 101 type of thing but i just felt the I just felt the need to like tell you guys like how I film my rolls and like what I do um, to make sure that my video looks more nice and crisp basically kind of sort of okay like because I don't have time to bring all my big lights every time I film over here and that's why I do that I have my phone sitting right here on this tripod okay I'm not sure if you guys can see all of that yep you can okay so what I like to do first is I just when I'm doing this I just go straight onto my phone Oh, my sister is calling me. Hold on a second. So I just go on my so I just go on my regular phone camera. I go on video, and I also like to turn the flash on because I feel like I get better lighting like that. Also, um, and then boom, I just put the phone like this, and then I start putting the stuff. So now it's recording, and I can pretty much just go ahead and start what I have to do. So. guys can see I just go ahead and add some sugar bro I did not even oh, look I'm not even filming oh shit okay god me y'all I was not even filming I'm so upset so I'm gonna have to like pull all this thing out <laughs> y'all this is this is the struggle sometimes okay so i'm gonna have to stop this okay so i have to probably throw all of this away that's a waste i know it's a waste but in order for me to in order for my reels to go as planned i'm gonna have to really like do that so i got some more eggs we're gonna start over and pretend like that never happened please let nobody come for me you gotta do what you gotta do sometimes this is this this is the life of social media you know sometimes you fail and you're gonna have to redo it and nobody knows what the buts and the ifs are so now i'm gonna pretend like that never happens okay so here we go let's redo this <laughs> and i'm gonna go ahead and start skillet. okay and then we're gonna add one teaspoon of butter okay okay and we're gonna add one and a half cup of milk okay Four. then we're gonna add quarter cup quarter um, spoon of salt. Okay. Super easy, you guys. Seriously. You can make this with your kids also. One teaspoon of vanilla. Okay. Okay, we're going to add flour so now I'm going to take a strainer and just go ahead and strain that okay 
and just make sure there are no lumps in there. Okay. Take that batter and then I'll put it inside the fridge and just let it chill. Okay, whilst I just go ahead and start making my, um, making the seafood pie. Okay, so you guys are gonna have a two in one today. How great is that? Can't tell me that then. Okay, um, so yeah, let me just go ahead and clean up here real quick. So we're gonna start making a seafood pie. So I have here some onion. Okay, you see that? And just like, like three little garlic um, and these three onions. And I also have some shrimps and I just cut it out into like little pieces like this. Okay. And just one fillet tilapia. I'm probably not gonna use all of it, we shall see, but I'm gonna steam it. And also some imitation crab meat. Just like a little bit of that too. You guys, I'm gonna add one more onion. Okay. Because I feel like my onion might be a little bit small. So I'm gonna put a little bit of oil. I don't measure when I cook, okay? So excuse me. Um, this should be good, I think. Okay. Because we don't have that much to make. Because you don't want it to be like super greasy also. I have another frying pan here. I'm going to steam my fish over here. Okay, so I'm going to season this fish a little bit. So I'm going to put some salt in there. A tiny bit of salt. A little bit of black pepper. Just going to put a little bit of lemon juice there not much okay you don't want it to taste in the food you just want it to season the fish a little so let me just put a little bit of salt inside the onion right before we fry it So I'm just gonna let this sit here and cook. I'm gonna add some black pepper in there, okay? So now I'm gonna put, go ahead and put the fish inside this pan. So what I did was just added a little bit of oil on the, the pan so that way it doesn't stick. And I'm just gonna go ahead and turn the stove on. Just like on a medium low heat, just for this to steam, okay? You just wanna steam it, that's it, okay? And here goes the onions, it's cooking nicely. Okay, I'm gonna let that cook. Okay guys, so let me show you what's going on. So here's the fish. It's already nicely steamed. Okay, you can see the water is all gone. So I just turned the stove off. So let's just sit in there and wait in. And over here, the onions still frying. Okay. Just allowing the water to all drain, like dry out or whatever. Okay, until you see the oil rendering a bit more. So I'm gonna add tomato paste, but you need like a pinch of tomato paste because all you want the tomato paste for is not really for taste, it's more for like color, right? So I'm gonna put a little tiny bit of tomato paste in there. This is, this is all I'm adding in there. Maybe that, okay. See that the oil is now beginning to pop up out. I'm gonna add a little bit of water in there. Not much, just a little bit, just so it has something to cook on, okay? Like the tiniest bit possible, okay? 
see that? I'm always to cook. Hopefully my shrimp is not a lot, but I'm actually gonna put some shrimp in there. Clearly I put a lot of shrimp. Cause I'm extra like that. <laughs> I just covered it so that way the steam can, you know, get us a bit of water. 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 Now I put some imitation crab meat and we need like the tiniest bit because I actually put a lot of shrimp. So I'm gonna put this much first and then see. But add like a little bit more. Yeah, not much, okay. And I actually did put a little bit more shrimp than crab meat, so. I'm gonna add some, some of the fish, but we're just gonna add like half of that, okay? Put this a little tiny bit. the dough I actually like to use because I don't like all the doughs. Some of the doughs are like a little off so I don't make my dough, own dough like from scratch because ain't nobody got time for that like realistically this dough tastes amazing so what's the point why would I even do that okay. It's the Goya dough and specifically this Goya. This one. Don't come for me if you buy the wrong one. This one is the one you need okay. Um, you can get it from Fiesta, H-E-B, I don't think Walmart has it, correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm sure you can get this from like any Hispanic grocery store. This one is, is legit. So I just let it defrost and then we're going to use it. There's 10 in here. So here is it, okay, already defrost. So what I do is, I have my bowl of water here. Okay, so let me do this so you guys can see what I'm doing. So I take this, put some water around it. Okay, and then grab some of that. Give me like a nice scoop in there. Might be a lot, but it's okay. Okay, and now I'm just gonna take my fork and like seal it like so. And then I'm gonna actually put some flour here, like a little bit of flour on this, so that way it doesn't stick. Okay, and then I'm just gonna place it there. So now I'm gonna start frying them. Heat up the oil. Okay, because we're gonna deep fry it, so it just needs a little bit of oil. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
All right, so we're gonna wait for the oil to get hot and we're gonna fry it because it's almost time for suhu and I need to go take evolution and then um, get ready for prayers and all that good stuff. Make my tea, be ready, just be ready, okay? Ready for the, the game, the program, okay? But I think I have enough time to actually just hurry up and yeah I do have a little bit of time so I can just go ahead and fry this first and then you know you feel me I'm hungry I can't talk <laughs> just like okay I hope you guys enjoyed it so far if you are just make sure you give it a thumbs up okay because y'all been killing me with the put the recipes on YouTube now here they are y'all better watch it share it and make sure you like it and comment okay or else no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> so I take this and dip it in there. Okay, so with a medium heat. You can actually put two in there. Let's see. Maybe I'm not going crazy. Yeah, I can put two in there. And this is like perfect, literally. Mm -hmm. All right, guys. My patties are done. They're ready. Okay. I have dates, you guys, but I pick my fast with this, okay? Mm. Oh my god, it's so good. Wow. Okay. I'm about to go pray, guys. Um. <laughs> so good. And then we're gonna make our crepes. I don't even think I can eat all this. Just being greedy. The thing is, whenever I'm fasting, I'm craving for everything. And as soon as I break my fast, I don't want anything. <laughs> Probably gonna have to rest for us, guys, before making the crepes because I'm tired now. So I'm so tired, I can't lie. But I'm about to make the crepes and then eat that, start working on my computer and then call this a night. But let's go ahead and make the crepes because we've already started that. So I can't just flop on you guys like that. Um, got my mixture here, okay. And then... I have the crepes here. I have some strawberries and some Nutella, okay? to go to Instagram to see what the end results look like because I don't know like this is the only part that's going to be showing so ignore this <laughs> okay um, so now again I have the camera like this flashes on and I'm gonna turn the play button okay watch this is how it's gonna go And then I start recording. Okay. 
Can you see how I'm moving my hand with the camera? And then you come on top, then you go slow move and back. Okay, that's that. Can you see? So these are the photos we have. Doesn't that look so good? I love this one. Okay, so yeah, this is what it is. That's the video. You see? So now when I edit it, you see, you see how this goes like that? So that's what I'm gonna do. You see that? And guess what? Now it's time to eat. <laughs> because, and I'll tell you how it tastes. Mm. Mm. It's so good. The mixture of the strawberries and Nutella, you guys, is just perfect. Mm. But anyways, guys, I'm gonna have to end the video here. So if you're not subscribed, make sure you subscribe to my channel um, for more amazing content, of course, okay? Um, this was like a little bit more chill because it's just me, there's nobody else around. But I'm sure we're gonna have like more great amazing content coming soon like i have so much content planned you guys you guys are gonna be so amazed and you don't want to miss it so make sure you hit your bell notification so you don't miss any of the videos that i'm about to be posting very soon and as always i just want to say thank you all so much for watching i truly 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 love and appreciate you all um and i'll see you next time okay enjoy your iftar and i'm gonna try and actually put out more content than possible like i normally do which is every friday i would not have a schedule for for it just yet because that's just a lot for me but um yeah we just be on the lookout you, you, you might be seeing me more often than normal and I'm sure you guys would love that Okay, but I truly appreciate you guys and again I just want to say thank you guys so much for watching and I can't wait to see you all in my next video Mwah.